Hey everybody, hope we're live here. Uh, this is Kerry Robinson. I'm sitting with former Major League pitcher Lenny DiNardo. Has some time with the, the Red Sox, the A's, and Kansas City Royals. How many years in the Major Leagues, Lenny? I uh, was up from 04 to 2009. 04 to 2009, pretty good career. Um, we were talking a little bit earlier and uh, you said something really cool about your Major League debut. Who was that with and uh, who were the hitters you faced in that debut? It was uh, 2004 in Old Yankee Stadium and my first batter was against Gary Sheffield and then Hideki Matsui and then Bernie Williams, guitar player slash baseball player. <laughs> what, what was the result of those three hitters? So you guys are about to learn something about pitchers. They don't forget the good hitters they get out. What, what happened in those three at bats? I got, uh, I got Gary to ground out to third. I struck out Hideki and I got Bernie to ground out the third two. All the cutters inside, they were uh, just missing their ankles and they hit, got, got it to the third baseman instead. So. That's right. Uh, Tito, I guess he threw you into the fire against some, some tough guys early on, right? Yeah, he, he was good about that. He put me in, a, in an experience where we were up enough to where I was able to give up some runs if I had a a little bit of a shady outing, but I was able to get out of it unharmed, and uh, it was a good experience all the way around for me. And we got a, uh, a W that day too. It was great. Awesome. Uh, Kim Riley asked. She she wanted to know. Uh, she has a young son. At what age, in your opinion, do you think kids should just focus on baseball? Uh, I might be a little old school. But I like it when a kid puts his glove away for a little bit, especially a pitcher, and goes out and plays another sport. So they come back hungry when that season starts. Also, these days, a lot of kids are throwing on three or two or three different teams in a season, and uh, they're they're throwing too much. I think there should be limited pitch counts and and go out there and play as many sports as you can. So when you do pick up your glove, you're hungry. Doesn't mean you can't go out there and play catch in the backyard with your dad or your brothers or sisters, or whatever. But at the end of the day, you should go out there and, and save your arm because a lot of kids are throwing way too many pitches at a, at a young age. And also stay away from the curveballs until you can shave. That's great advice. How about um, uh, you? I think you talked about not being uh, so much of a hard thrower yourself. Uh, how important is it for kids to learn how to pitch as opposed to just throwing with velocity? Well, go out there and watch a game and, and pay attention to what they're doing. Hit, pitchers are, are setting up hitters. They're, they're watching what hitters did the last at bat. They're watching, they've got notebooks, what hitters did the previous week or previous month or previous season. And uh, if you want to be a good pitcher, you have to have a, a good memory about what you did to the hitter before, what, where you had success, where you failed. You have to learn how to adapt. I was a guy where I didn't throw extremely hard, so I had to, to kind of adapt in order to get to the next level. And by, by adapting, I had to make the ball move. I had to hit my spots. I had to be able to, 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 to make the hitter change their eye levels, back their ankles up off the plate a little bit, and, uh, and have a little bit of an edge out there. I wasn't afraid to throw inside, even though I wasn't a hard thrower. I had to have the outer half. In order to have, have the outer half, I had to move the hitter's feet, you know, so throw in off the plate a little bit. That's great advice, too. How about um when you were a kid growing up, like who were some of your idols, baseball or any other sports, really? Uh, my favorite pitcher growing up was Roger Clemens. It just so happens to be complete opposite style. of. <laughs> uh, but I liked him and I liked Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin was a lefty that I, I liked to watch because, again, he wasn't a real hard thrower, but he was able to get it done by making the ball move, changing speeds, and hitting his spots. But I liked Clemens' attitude on the mound. He had a little bit of an edge. And uh, if you're going to be a successful pitcher at a high level, you got to be out there mean. You got to be a bulldog on the mound and, and show no fear. And I always respected that about him. All right. I asked you earlier about your first major league win. win and uh, when did you say that was? It was uh, Patriots Day 2004. But you mentioned what a typical pitcher would mention that you were more proud of your one for five hit. Tell us about that hit. <laughs> My one hit in the big leagues. I had five at bats and being an American League pitcher my whole career, that's why I only had five at bats, but uh, my, my one hit was off of Matt Cain in San Francisco in 2007. I was playing for Oakland at the time, and it was a check swing. The fastball, I think, was 95, neck high, probably a couple baseball lengths off the plate outside, and I, I told myself before swinging, I'm just, I'm just going to take a hack. I don't care. 
but it turned out I didn't take a full hack. I took a check swing that barely crossed the plate, made contact, and I hit a bloop single into left field to Barry. Barry Bonds out there, and uh, I'll never forget it. Now I'm going to tell my kids that it's a line drive off the wall. <laughs> Hopefully, there's no footage out there so they can call me out. All right. Let's see. Well, that's awesome. I, I really appreciate the time Lenny's been hanging with me and my dad Rogers for like the last couple of hours. He's been stuck with us, so he's gracious enough to give me this interview. I hope it's been a blast. If you guys uh, found any value from what Lenny had to say, please share it with uh, people you know because they might get value as well. So thanks for listening.